Hi, I'm Lane Leobrodden, and I work at Google on Open Social. We've been working really closely with the ORCID team, so I want to talk a little bit about some of the policies around ORCID's support for Open Social. As ORCID gets ready to launch Open Social, developers want to know, how do I get my application in the directory? What kind of information can I access about users? And most importantly, can I make any money with ORCID? The first question, how do I get my application into the directory, is important because that's how users are going to find your application to start with. When ORCID launches with Open Social, no one's going to have any applications installed, and they'll have to look at the application directory to find applications to use. We want to make sure that users love all these new Open Social applications. So before we add your application to the directory, we want to make sure it meets a few requirements. First of all, we don't want any malware, spyware, or anything that's going to spam or hurt user privacy. Secondly, we want to make sure that your application is functioning properly. We don't want any 404s or broken links, because that's going to reflect poorly on the ORCID platform in general, not just your application. Another important criteria is that your application uses the Open Social APIs or is self-expressive in some way. ORCID users are an expressive bunch, so there's lots of opportunity for you here. Finally, your application must meet the ORCID terms of service, so no nudity, hate speech, violent content, or illegal content. We also want to encourage applications to blend in with ORCID's look and feel. This isn't a requirement, but if you're looking for a way to spice up your UI, take a look at how ORCID does theirs. An important thing to consider when designing your application is what information you can access about the user. Our general principle here is to protect the user's privacy, so we won't allow any information that's personally identifiable. This includes things like email addresses and phone numbers, or any information that could be harmful to users if it got into the wrong hands. Also, keep in mind that users can set the access control on their profile as well. Some of the fields can be made available privately, to friends, or to everybody. Finally, you'll only be able to access the extended profile for users that have your application installed. So if a user is trying to look at information about their friends, they'll only see the extended information if their friends have the application installed as well. OK, here's the important question. Can I make money on ORCID? What can I do and what can't I do in terms of ads and monetization? Well, the resounding answer is yes, you can make money with ORCID. In fact, one of the ways we're going to judge our own success is by how many developers can build successful businesses around their ORCID applications. Our lawyers are still working out the details, but here are the principles for our monetization policy. First of all, the Canvas page belongs to your application. You're free to use that page to monetize however you want, except for one thing. We have to keep in mind the happiness of our advertisers. They're going to want some control over where their message is displayed. Finally, a user's profile page is their face to the world, so we should only show content there that the user put there themselves. I wouldn't want you selling ad space on my profile page. I hope that helps clear up some of the questions about ORCID's policies for open social applications. If you have any specific questions, you can ask in the ORCID Developers Forum.